Let's see how to find the integer solutions to the given equation. The idea is to factor both sides. Let's see. So the first one can be written as three to the power x and then square minus the second, two to the power y and then square equals 77. Now we can use the difference of squares formula. So we get a plus b, so the three to the power x plus two to the power y times a minus b. So get three to the power x minus two to the power y. The right side can be written as 77 times one or 11 times seven, only these two cases. So we get a following possibilities. The first one, if three to the power x plus two to the power y equals 77, then three to the power x minus two to the power y equals one. Is it possible for the first one be one and the second one be 77? No, because the sum of two positive integers is greater than the difference of the same two positive integers. So it is not possible. The second case, if three to the power x plus two uh, to the power y equals 11, then the other, so three to the power x minus two to the power y should be seven. Again, it is not possible for the first one to be seven and the second one to be 11. Now let's analyze the first situation. We add these two equations. So the left side becomes two times v to the power of x and two to the y and negative two to the y cancel out. So the right side, 77 plus one, 78. Both sides divided by two, so we get three to the power of x equals 39. So it doesn't have integer solutions because there's no exponent of three equals 39. Now let's look at the second one. Again, add these two equations. So we get two times three to the power of x and two to y, negative two to y. Again, cancel out. The right side, 11 plus seven, so 18. Both sides divided by two, so get three to the power x equals nine. And nine can be written as three to the power two. Same base we we get same exponent, so we get x equals two. If subtract the first one by the second one, so three to the power x cancel. And two to the power y minus negative two to the power y, so we get two times two to the power of y. So the right side, 11 minus seven, so equals four. Again, both sides divided by two, so get two to the power of y equals two. But two can be written as two to one. Again, same base two, so same exponent. y equals one. That is the only integer solution to the given equation. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.